Um, I one of my favorite artists is Drake, and um, in his new album Take Care, one of his songs headlines at the very end of it, he recites a poem, and he says, "I heard once that they would rather hear about memories than enemies, rather hear about what was or what will be than what is, rather hear about how you got it over how much it cost you." Rather hear about finding yourself than how you lost you. Rather you make this an open letter about family and struggle and it taking forever. About hearts that you've broken and ties that you've suffered. No doubt in my mind that'll make them feel better. And I was going to talk about the best day of my life, every 10-year-old's dream, going to Disneyland, and everything paid for. I got cotton candy, churros, um, souvenirs, a huge lollipop that was like this big. But instead, I decided to tell you guys about the most, I would say, um, life-changing day of my life, which actually happened in the past week. And um, just a little background story. I used to be in a relationship with this guy um, I met in high school, senior year. And we were together or on and off for like three years. And I wouldn't say it was the best relationship. He wasn't that good to me. He... Um, he didn't treat me right. He um, would hook up with other girls <laughs> when we were together. And um, it just like really affected me and it kind of just like took a toll on my soul and my heart. And I just like wasn't happy. And more recently, I've just been trying to get over it and I've been moving on and I haven't really talked to him and I've just been trying to work on myself as a person. and. Um, I had lunch with one of my best girlfriends the other day, and I don't get to see her a lot because we're both busy with school and work. And I had lunch with her, and I was asking her, you know, what she's been up to lately, and she said she's been going to church a lot. And I asked her, like, oh, tell me something about it. And she said that going to church has really changed her life. It's opened her eyes and showed her what really matters. And she said that all the little things that used to upset her, all the little fights she would get into with her boyfriend, all the little things he would do, they didn't bother her anymore because she realized that things are bigger than our little problems and the world is bigger than just our little world. And it just kind of made me like open my eyes and just think like, you know, maybe she's right, like maybe I should start going to church more. And I used to go a lot when I was in middle school and I kind of just fell out of it when I went to high school. So I decided to go to church with her on Sunday, and I went, and I felt like the pastor's message, it just really spoke to me, and I felt like he was talking directly to me, and it just really moved me, and one of the things he said was, um, more specifically to the men in the audience, he said, when was the first time you felt like you were a man? Was it the first time you like took a hit of a joint, or was it the first beer you had? Was it the first time you had sex? Or was it um, when you got jumped into a gang? And he said all these things that are supposed to make you feel like a man, that are supposed to make you feel like you're coming of age, all of those things are a sin. And that kind of really made me step back and think, like, how have I been living my life? And, you know, I, I like to have fun. I like to go out and party with my friend Rayleigh, you know. Um, we used to like to go out and drink, and we used to like to smoke and just have a good time. But, um, I don't know, just seeing her so changed just, like, really changed me and made me want to change my life. And I'm not saying that I don't do those things anymore. I'm not saying I'm just good. I'm not saying I'm perfect. But every day since I've been trying to go to church, and I actually went on Wednesday, too, and every time I go to church, it just makes me more hungry for God, and it makes me just want to be a better person and I just want to have a better soul and I just feel like everyone can change the world and everyone can change someone's life by something that they have to say or something that they've gone through and I feel like we shouldn't be scared to share all the things we've gone through because you never know other people may have gone through them too and you just don't know it and you can help someone out and you can make a difference in someone's life. And God has really made a difference in my life. And he's helped me overcome all these obstacles. And he's really softened my heart, um, even through all the bad things I've gone through and um, the relationship that I've gone through. And he just made me.
believe in 